Hello, welcome to another OpenTab Lightning video. In this video, we are going to be looking at attributes, namely, what are attributes and what are some commonly used attributes. So let's get started. Attributes are C-sharp constructs that allow us to specify metadata for various parts of our OpenTap plugin. For example, they can be used to control how a particular test step appears in the UI, or it can be used to control what unit a specific parameter has. Let's take a look at some examples to understand more. I have opened the example solution in Visual Studio. The attributes example can be found by navigating under the plugin development project, test steps folder, and attributes subfolder. We will look at three of the most commonly used ones in this video. The first attribute is called the display attribute. We can use this to control various aspects of how a parameter or a test step appears in the UI. As we walk through the different examples, I will show you side by side of what it looks like on the editor. You can see here that we are using the display attribute. The name that appears on the UI is the same as the string value provided here. If we want to provide a description for a particular parameter that appears as a tooltip, we can use the description field. If we want to group settings, then we can use the group field. And if we want to order the settings in a particular way, then we can use the order field. These are the various ways in which you can use the display attribute. Next, let's look at another commonly used attribute, which is the unit attribute. The units attribute lets us specify what unit a particular setting has. Here, you can see that we use the unit attribute to specify a unit of hertz for the frequency setting and it shows up on the UI. We can use other fields along with unit to specify the notation and the scaling aspects. The last attribute that we are going to look at is called the enabled if attribute. This is used to enable and disable a field based on the value of another field. Here, in this example, I want to enable the bandwidth setting only if the value of the standard is either LTE or WCDMA. You can see in the UI how when either of these two are set, the bandwidth setting gets enabled. If I choose GSM, for example, it gets disabled. So in this video, we learned about attributes. We took a look at some commonly used attributes such as display, unit, and enable diff. There are other attributes that are supported by OpenTap for which you can find examples under the example solution. Thank you for watching and see you again in another video.